obviously you spent many successful years at Tampa. Um, Sap always told me that the defense was meant towards getting everything to you. You and Derek Brooks right behind him. Is it is it safe to say you're going to build the 49ers in a similar fashion that you're going to you're going to go certainly on the defensive side with what you saw in Tampa, John? Well, I, 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 that's one of the areas where Kyle and I clicked, and it, you know, it won't be the exact same scheme, but it's going to be a four-three, and it's going to be aggressive in everything we do. Um, and uh, you know, we uh, we we're looking for guys like Warren Sapp. <laughs> if he had any eligibility left, I'd be calling him. I mean, uh, those are the kind of guys we want. Guys that uh, you know. One thing that uh, John Elway told me once, I think it was Ernie Acorsi who who told him the best advice he had gotten. Uh, he, he called Ernie shortly after he got the job, and he said, you got to find your quarterback, and you got to find the guys to knock them down. And so um, that's right at the, the top of our priority list. And, uh, uh, you know, Warren made my life a, a whole lot easier. I learned when I, I went from Tampa and Warren Sapp and Simeon Rice and those guys uh, – getting after quarterbacks and then I went to Denver and no disrespect to those guys but I tell people all the time that uh, three Mississippi's a whole lot easier for a DB than five or six Mississippi <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah I'd imagine so and what about your quarterback is he on the roster right now you think John uh, we're, we're still kind of working through that um, you know we're, we're working through that and uh, Kyle is working hard at that I'm working hard at that um, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna figure that out, but we do both believe that that is the position you've you've got to you got to find in this league, and um, we're gonna we're gonna work hard to find the right guy and guys. I mean, you, you need three of them, and uh, so we've uh, we've got some work to do there, and um, you know we're, we'll continue the evaluation process, and we'll you know I think the, the 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 most important thing is that we communicate. Everybody's interested in Colin's situation, and we've had um, some some good discussions, and we'll continue to have those and we we both need to just be honest and upfront with each other and and that's so so you have had conversations with number seven Colin Kaepernick uh, then. you know kind of a, the texting variety and and that okay. you know we're going to take that next step here soon but we, we we felt like we owed it to him to really get a thorough evaluation before we brought him in and, and really talked with him the Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience